Hi, this is Coach David from OnlineStoreCoach.com. Today we're going to be talking about out-of-the-box customer acquisition tips. So these are some wacky ideas, although um, some of these are working well for a lot of online retailers. It's, it's an interesting list. We'll go through it, see how you like it. So before we do that, we're going to be talking about the marketing mindset that you really have to have when you have an online store. It's really about taking massive action, um, really creating your own magic and, by, and attracting customers to your online store. Along the way, you want to avoid some shiny objects. And honestly, this list that we're going to show you, some of these are shiny objects, but they can also give you some really good ideas. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you have multiple channels of marketing working for you every day because the, the diversity leads to stability and it leads to a greater um, health for your online store by having these multiple channels working for you. And of course you want to be playing offense. If you're sitting back waiting for traffic to come to your store, um, you know, having a, having a build it and they will come mentality, you really need to change that and really say, I, say, I need to go and get the traffic for my online store. Okay, so now let's get into some of the out of the box um, tips. So the first one is to create a niche portal to, to position yourself and your business as the experts. Because when people get to know, like, and trust you, um, they do more business with you. So in this case, um, it could be creating a, an experience, potentially a, a large a blog, of course, but a community um, is a good idea for a portal where you can get your customers into it, they form a community, you facilitate that, you encourage the communication within that, and then they get to know, like, and trust you, and then they'll come over to your business and do and buy from you. So the next one's all about creating a viral marketing effort. Now, friends and family is one is sort of a, a, a magical kind of event that really transcends all different niches. People really respond to certain words out there, and friends and family is a phrase that people really respond to. They know that that's a special offer. You can really do a lot of business by doing a friends and family event and getting it out there. Then you can. All, the next one is about creating an online directory. This is an opportunity to um, sort of have a toll booth position. It's called, and really uh, allow others in your industry to submit to a directory that you own, but that since you own it, you can put you can put your own advertising on it and you can drive traffic to your on online store. You can always um, to host a webinar on a service like GoToWebinar. There are others. Um, GoToWebinar is a popular one out there. And here you can have webinars that, again, help your customers or prospects know, like, and trust you. And, and in the webinar itself, you can have offers or mention products that you sell to drive some sales. Next, you want to make sure you're always providing your customers easy ways to access your social network pages, both on and off your online store. So on, on your online store, is, it's pretty obvious where you have icons for a lot of the social networks, but in your transactional emails, in your marketing emails, in any direct mail pieces are all good ideas to sort of keep, keep encouraging that conversation of getting uh, your customers to your social network pages. Another uh, out of the box idea is to give away an ebook or a white paper uh, on someone else's site maybe they have a lot of traffic and if you can get in front of that traffic through using a, let's say an educational ebook and within that ebook you have links to your site that can drive some sales and again people get to know like and trust you and really put a lot of a weight if you're an, an author um, so you know a book itself is another uh, version of this and you can also have the ebook on your own site and if you want to give it away or sell it or it could be a freebie when they come new for new visitors that come to your site you can maybe give away the ebook something to consider um, next is about creating a limited time discount or promotion so what we're talking about here could be a flash sale it could be um, a th multiple day sale like a two-day sale three-day sale five-day sale depends on your business 
but you create these big um, sale days and really work hard to get a lot of marketing in around it and that's one of the ways you can really improve your customer acquisition typically when you have an aggressive sort of uh, discount or promotion going on any traffic that let's say was in your search engine optimization program could con convert even more than a typical day and can lead to more sales obviously next you can create a sweepstakes on Facebook or your own site so you know customers prospects love sweepstakes the the note here is you want to definitely give away something related to your business if, if you decide to give away let's say an iPad and it has nothing to do with your business you're gonna get a lot of people interested in just getting an iPad but it should be something congruent to your own business next here's an interesting one we've seen this so uh, you can create a day that's related to your business. So an example is a National Dog Owners Day. So if you're a, a pet site or a site that specializes in dog treats or dog, you know, dog accessories and so on and so forth, if you created your own day, you can get publicity around that, get articles written about you, and get traffic to your store. Next, uh, really, you can ask your customers to share their experience with your products on, uh, on their blog or with you or if you use if you have services like Yelp or other um, feedback services you really want to get um, you want to get their feedback that could one help you give a better experience sell better products but secondly if they have a good experience it, it reinforces it with them and it gives you social proof so the next one is all the next tips all about speaking at an industry event, um, you you might not you you may be able to drive some direct sales. Depends on what industry you're in, but you can also get publicity for your online store. Uh, you could give out business cards or some um, p print piece that has a, an offer on it, or it, you know an offer specific to attendees of the event, and that can drive some direct sales. And here. The next one is about writing a book and self-publishing it to Amazon and, or other channels. So writing a book could be one of the most powerful um, ways to position your authority in your space. And uh, people love books, love authors, and it really separate, it could separate you from the competition. If you sell a book, give away a book, if you treat your book like a business card, uh, we can talk all day about this particular tip. So, we're going to now talk about where to focus your marketing because, as you can see from this image, internet marketing can get really confusing really fast. Um, and there are a lot of shiny objects, but we've put together a resource that we want to let you know about that helps you, know, helps you focus your marketing. It's called the Ultimate Online Store Traffic Toolkit. So, this is a course that is a revealing of proven practical and repeatable ways retailers liberate themselves from all the normal speed limits of online business achieve more profit and trigger business breakthroughs we share with you where to focus your marketing efforts you discover closely guarded traffic secrets of today's best retailers and how to use those for your business and we'll give you shortcuts for making more money for your business Thank you so much.